Okay, so we start off, and we've got a new scene, brand new. I'm going to uh, pop in. Yeah, please, please, thank you. Yeah, where I'm going to pop in a plane so that our character has some place to stand. Let's see the transform. Okay, so we're in stand assets, standard assets in our project window. And then um, third person character, prefab. And here's our third person, uh, you know, prefab. And I've already made, made some changes to it, and you'll see that in a second. So I'm going to drag that in, and I'm going to pull down my plane just a little bit so that, that, you know, the character's feet, that's good enough. Okay. Okay. So what I have is I, I already have this leather jacket person in here and I'm going to try to delete it and it says cannot restructure prefab instance right this is the thing that's that's new open prefab in prefab mode open prefab okay so this opens in this window here this opens this third person controller like in its own hierarchy window but I can actually get back to um, to this one and I can go back this way. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out, right? And so I'm gonna put Ethan back. I, I've just you know grayed him out here. Okay, so here's Ethan. Here's our character Ethan, right? So now I want to put in my character, right? So um, let's imagine or you know assume that you've already imported your dot fbx for unity character that you made in either fuse or autodesk character generator you've exported that um, downloaded it if it was zipped you've unzipped it and you have you know your character name dot fbx you you go into project create new folder and you name that whatever your character is, right? So I, I did that, and I made a character that was named, I tried to name it Leather Jacket, but I mistyped it, and it's called Leather Racket, which is, I think, pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so I have my folder with my character in it, and I can open that up, and I see I've got my, my, uh, my character, right? And then we go through the stuff. Do, do, we did this yesterday, right? With the materials, yeah? So you go, you go to materials, you extract textures, and it you know, asks you to choose um, what folder, and so you choose your leather, in this case, leather racket folder, right? And then extract materials, if, and you do that, you choose that. If you're bringing it from, uh, from Adobe Fuse, then you have to make sure that those uh, uh, like hair body it, it's, it's different if it's from a, this is from uh, Autodesk but if it's from Adobe Fuse then you have to make sure that these are opaque and not transparent in the shader right like we did before um, you have to make sure it is rigged humanoid create from this model configure right and that just to show you again how to uh, let's just call this blank bad um, it says characters not in T pose, but it you know it really is. So we'll just do that, right? Okay, and so it's done, and that's where we have to scroll down enough to see the word done, to see that button. It can be kind of hidden on your little laptop. Okay, so now we're good to go with this, and we have our third person controller. We scroll that open. If if you ever look at your hierarchy and you just see it like this, that any you can just open it. It it like shuts it. It closes all the windows and the doors like that, and it can be confusing. Okay, so now I'm going to go like this. Right? Open prefab, because it doesn't want me to do that. I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to make sure that it lands under third-person controller indented as a child object, right? So that, that it, it has all this scripty goodness that we have here on the third person controller prefab, right? We wanna, we wanna use all of this. We want to make sure that that's there. Okay, so because I already did this in the earlier section, um, 
this says avatar, leather jacket unity avatar, but it wouldn't when you start. So you want to make sure that you click this little tiny target. They couldn't have made it any smaller, could they have? So we want to make sure we've chosen the avatar. We want to make sure we've got the third person animator controller. And here, where it's leather jacket unity, we want to make sure we've got the avatar. And we don't, we don't need a, a runtime controller because it's already being controlled. And then we, want to, we, we just want to untag Ethan here, right? And um, he make sure that, that we can't see him so that he's not being... Um, He's not being, uh, uh, you know, shown. We're not. Um, he's not selected. He's grayed out there. Okay. So now, if we go back to our, it looks like it's a little high up. But let's see what happens. We'll probably jump down a little bit. Yeah. No. Okay. Yep. Running. Running. There we go. Hey. How about that? Oh, into the Unity Abyss. I'm so sorry, Leather 